Good evening. It is October 24th and today's title is Exhibiting the Light in Daily with the King. Every disciple is called to be an exhibitionist. In the proper usage of the word, Moses instructed Aaron, the high priest, to arrange the seven lamps on the lampstand of the lampstand in the tabernacle so that the light shone outward. So that the light shone outward. See Numbers 8.3. The purpose of the lamps was to provide the light in which the priests could carry on their work. I'm sure that is what Jesus had in mind when he said, So let your light shine before men, that they may see your good works, and glorify your Father who is in heaven. See Matthew 5.16. I am to exhibit the glory of God, and the only way I can do so is to let that glory be transmitted through me. But the light can be hidden. Jesus urged us not to put our light under a bushel. See Matthew 5.15 My light must be exposed. It must be set free to shine in public. I must avoid a monasticism or a separationism that would keep me from the kind of contact with the world in which I confront it as light. Even my church with its high ornate walls and stained glass windows can be a smotherer of the light. The lamps must be turned outward so that their benefit may not be lost to those who need it most. Light can also be extinguished. The natural enemy of light is not darkness. Isn't that interesting? There's not like a candle of darkness piercing the light. Light always pierces the darkness. But water and wind is the enemy. It may extinguish it. I must not quench the spirit. See 1 Thessalonians 5.19, which is another way of saying that I must keep my light fed with oil. I must not let it be blown out by the winds of disobedience to God's will, and I must not douse it with opposition and rebellion. Turn the lamps outward. The gloom-filled world needs the light. Therefore, it needs me. Not the doubting, hesitating, fearful me, but the spirit-controlled, joyful, self-giving me. Then I shall become a child of God without blemish and shine as a light in a dark world. See Philippians 2, 15. And 1 Corinthians 3, 13 reads, Each man's work will become evident, for the day will show it, because it is to be revealed with fire. And the fire itself will test the quality of each man's work. Interesting. So the first example we had of fire was to be a light in a dark world. The second use of fire was to purify and to burn off the chaff. Interesting. All right. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for this reminder that... We need to not coddle our light or just keep it restrained to our families. We were made to be a part of a family, to bring others into this world, and to shine our light there. That was only the first place we were to shine. We're to shine in our neighborhoods. We're to shine in schools, government, media, all of it, Lord. We ask that as believers, we wake up and realize we need to let our light shine, that the world is not just hurting, but it's like writhing in agony and confusion and pain. And we must let our light shine. We must stand up to the darkness. We must pierce the darkness. Help us to do that, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen.